I'd like to lend you an image, an analogy, if you please. If you could suspend belief and instead see my hips as a pair of parentheses, inside which sits the sentence, I am woman. It might take too long to go right back to the start. If we were to consider Eve all the way through to Joan of Arc to track our feminist footprint, our lineage through mud, through the years of derogatory slurs and our social standing as crud, through the years of baby making and misogynistic schemes and the years that followed where women's rights were never exactly what they seemed. And even now we have strong women but with an unsavoury twist. In a society where being a feminist has somehow become synonymous with being a misandrist. So if I can negotiate my way around any preconceptions, let me state I really do believe the men amongst us are great. As are the women. Battle scarred and blood stained from their years spent feeding the planet's population but being treated with disdain. From their years as second class citizens or worse still the second sex. Ironic, really, given that without women we'd be on whatever devolutionary step comes next. And I'm not saying that men don't have a hard time, that they don't get their unfair share of shit, but of the genders being catcalled, it's women who take the hit. It's women who walk through life with an unwanted soundtrack of smut, and while I try to find the word empowering, I'm not okay with being called a slut or any other modern day colloquialism or horrendous put down of feminism that accuses women of premenstrual bitching before telling them to get back in the kitchen because my boyfriend knows how to make his own sandwich. And yet, I can't help but feel then that in amongst these life-changing feminisms we've started to make our day-to-day -day decisions with an alarming lack of precision. We stumble about blindly, finding things to discuss in a disgruntled shout, and we persist in portraying our points however they will sound least kind. And while I appreciate that we have to stamp our feet sometimes to negotiate our terms, I can't help but feel this is not what Godiva had in mind. We are women, marked by tiger stripes and war wounds. We have battled through jungles and deserts and dunes to be here. We have clawed our way up from the start to be the beating heart of a world that believed it had abandoned us already, and yet we hold steady, ready with our reserved cry of war. I am woman. Hear me.